good morning. Terrible positioning for the uh, morning greet with uh, the sun in the wrong place. So, uh, take two, eh? Yeah, a little bit of wind around, but uh, here you go. Um, back in the vastness by the rubbish bin. <laughs> yeah, we're just taking a bit of a... Uh, there you go, that's the nice bike. Ah, uh, yeah. On the road to Marua, Morua, Mor Morua. Sort of northern wheat belt. Uh, about 400 and something k's out of Perth. Um, I don't know much more about the town. I've never really been here before. Uh, we do need petrol. Uh, because we've got some issues with our bike. It ain't the road king. It ain't the road king at all. Old Fliss. It's a good bike though, bloody hell. Tonks along nice. Tonks along real nice. Anyway, we're gonna have a break for a while and um, medicate our stiff arm. All right, catch you later. So, there's no uh, pirate shirt today. It's not. It's not all that warm here in the northern wheat belt. In fact, uh, barely 20, but very, very nice and clear. The roads are dry. Come for a journey with us. Here we go. We are uh, starting to get a bit out there now. Maroa and uh, Yalgu. Okay, so yeah. What is it? Cool Ananuka Springs. Muck Muckington Road. There you go, Muckington Road. So I figured this is um, a mine site area, so. It's not BHP land, but I can see a bit of um, destruction there in the hill. Destruction there in the hill. There you go. Ah, the boys, eh? The local young fellas. Hey, eh, from Marawa. Letting off a bit of steam. This is a lovely artwork. What is it? Tire as paintbrush. Mmm. Try that for your tagging, boys. Tag on the bitumen. Well, yeah, okay. So. Time for the review. Look at the gold shining on them wheels, eh? The gold. Love that. The gold shining on them wheels. Okay. So, yeah. The lady at Marawa. That bike's lovely. Yeah, of course it is. Um, it's the choices you make, isn't it? The choices that you make. She's, uh living in a town called Morrowa and I'm just passing through the Marlboro man you know that is a pretty nice bike it is a the fag it is a pretty nice bike I uh, got to agree with the lady in Morrowa I suppose that is a nice bike I love the gold 
Yep, the gold shining on those wheels. That'll do it for me. Every time. Every time. Gold shining on those wheels, boy. Might be the death of me, it might be the life of me. I don't know. But it's uh, a bit of fun to ride out here, that's for sure. All right. So, um, we'll saddle up and we'll get going, eh? Out here, in the mine site. I don't even know what mine site it's called. Don't matter. All right, have a crack. Definitely have a crack, eh? All right. So, um, Yale Goo, 120 kilometres away. Uh, I'll try and dig it up on the maps a bit later on tonight. So, uh, people over east know that I'm actually taking this bike into a little bit of a remote area now. Um, what could you say? Off the, off the beaten track, perhaps. Uh, my mates told me this is a pretty good road. They were pretty happy with it, so um, yeah, let's check it out. Contact. Okay, oh, it looks like we are sort of getting definitely out back area-ish, eh? That's uh, the shot of the bike there, yeah. Hey, not bad, not bad, eh? We're out of the city now. Joe, Jed, there's the country, hey? Anyway, so this is, um, my new bike in it's possibly it's best light I like the colors that's the uh, that's the go that's the right colors guys okay good stuff the things you find so <laughs> LC whatever 250,000 uh, 2,500 kilograms we'll whack it on why not it's a bit of yellow that makes sense cool so then get some riding shots, get some riding shots. Well, for me to do that, I've got to hold the um, camera 
And you know what, YouTubers and, and viewers, I'm not going to do that because I don't feel right. I've, my arm's pretty dicky at the best of times. Um, yeah, I know. He can get some riding shots, get some riding shots. I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, yeah, well, don't know how to do that. I don't care for it. This is all I'm filming. Um, I'll cut it out too, if it's no good. All right. But it is very, very nice. Eh? A lot of fun with this bike. A lot of fun indeed. Yeah, it's warming up a bit, eh? Definitely get a bit hotter. So wardrobe change for me. <coughs> yep, wardrobe, wardrobe change. So there was a sign out there. Welcome to the Outback. And uh, here is the Outback. Welcome. Welcome to the Outback. Definitely a uh, a set for something. Hey. Gotta love that fireplace, eh? Bit of a uh, treacherous old walk though through here. Watch out, snakes! Watch out, snakes! Here I come, snakes! Something died there anyway. Hey, the old fireplace. <laughs> Real western scene, this one. All right. Well, that's uh, 23 years. That's 24 years, 99. Wherever 99 is there, I saw it there. Gaz, how you going, Gaz? Fields, yeah, all right. <coughs> Help contribute to bring this place down. Didn't pick a rock up and put a rock back. So uh, fuck ya. Anyway, out the window, eh? <laughs> out the window. Yeah, it's definitely vast, isn't it? Not a house in sight. Well, can't really call this a house anymore, can we? There's a chopper inside. <laughs> it's 
definitely uh, something to humour, something to yell goo, isn't it? Hey? All right. <laughs> Out there. <laughs> See ya. I was going to say those uh, freedom exhaust pipes sound like a church pipe organ ready to go into uh, a full fugal. All right, here we go.
look who here. Look who here. Old mate. The termite. So, uh, we're on our last 100 k's today. Um, 100 k's to go to we get to Mount Magnet. And there's Mr. Trucky. Yeah, you go. Anyway, uh, bop bop to you, Mr. Uh, he's stopping. Don't stop. Get the coal. Get the uh, ore to the factory. Uh, God, uh, you know, what's his name? Andrew Forrester would be uh, upset if you uh, traded on his soul. The likes of me. <laughs> Alright. See you Mount Magnet. Today we are off to Sandstone uh, from Mount Magnet, then on to Leinster. So we're really going straight into the gold fields now. Uh, enjoy the run with me on the soft tail slim. So we're off to pay our respects to our uh, wonderful eagle. Children beware. That's really sad, eh? That's really, really sad. Such a beautiful, majestic bird. Knocked over by these bloody mining trucks. Ba -da 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 -da. It's not a celebration, it's bum bum ba bum bum ba 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 Ashes to ashes. I'm 
sorry that happened to you. caravans boy lord anyway so that was the ride for you mr douglas hey douglas sorry about all that there douglas yeah so uh good morning everyone no issues on the bike today at all you just heard it um so yeah sandstone i didn't really want to give much away at the petrol station stuff them all right See in sandstone or along the way probably uh it's quite unique country isn't it geez the uh okay um i think it would have been about 2006 2000 2005 2006 i think i well I've been on a few rides on Harleys at test dealerships in the early 90s. So it wasn't really my first ride on the Harley. But uh, yeah, it might have been my longest. And it was definitely the oldest Harley. A 19, I think 1972 FLH shovel. Um, and I remember riding it and looking behind me looking at the furrows that i was digging uh to plant the crop it was a real tractor i mean colin out of geelong harley davidson is right when he says you know harleys today are a lot safer than what they uh once were you know this bike here is perhaps it's not as safe as the road king but it's still safe yeah it's a good bike anyway uh, I'm sorry about that eagle boy oh boy so this is um this is a good ride this is my ride mining must go on the mining trucks and all of that sort of stuff around here boy oh boy um, I haven't really got many complaints about this bike We've got a car coming You know, this bike is good. Look at the, uh, for, for changing wardrobe. Oh, it's just the wardrobe bike. It's got the hooks for the, oh, mate. The wardrobe bike. Ah, uh, wow, I didn't think that. Hey, the wardrobe bike. Yeah. 
Well, it looks like, guys, it's going to be not just a wardrobe change, but a complete bike rearrangement. I was um, finding it's just getting a bit too warm, so I need to uh, rethink how I pack this fucking machine. Okay. But uh, what a golden opportunity it is. Uh, what it is for a quick photo shoot. Bloody hell. Alright. That's my gold up there, up there on the ridge. There's my gold. Don't know if you can really see it on the rims. Ah, uh, the gold. All right, classic. All right, so it's uh, climb the mountain, Danny Hayes style, hey? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's um, <laughs> it's not Danny Hayes style. It's Dave Van Beek style. Ah. Uh, yeah, just thought we'd have a bit of a wander, look around, walk through the the outdoor toilets that are here around the park bay. Ah, uh, fucking hell, there's some rubbish around. Anyway, bike looks good up there, eh? Bloody oath. Let's go and see it. You can't really see it, but there it is, the Western Rider. Ding ding ga 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 ding 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 ga 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 ding ding yeah the western plains rider but that's not really a a plain is it it's a little rocky outcrop anyway sweet it's good view from up there any traces of gold Gee, I thought, in the sun there, there were speckles I went in there. Gold. Don't let me get that gold fever, I'd never end. I'll show you where the gold is. I'll, I'll show you where the gold is, mate. You can see it just on the edge of that rim there. That's where the gold is. Just on the edge of that rim. Just on the edge of that rim. Anyway, the show goes on. It is pretty country. Wow. It's vast. <laughs> it's not, oh, I've seen vaster. This is something to see here. 
not just all dead flat, no, you bike. <laughs> Yeah, um, the road king. Uh, the road king is missed on this road. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, so comfort's a bit of an issue. There's some things I've got to do to this bike. I've got to change it up. But it's, yeah, it's great. But it's not set up for me. Um, I didn't bring any tools with me. I just brought my 1-800 um, uh, card which is Harley assist and then the uh, tow truck comes and picks the bike up if there's anything major so there's no need to worry about that um, you know you don't want to be changing bar adjustments mid trip that's just not on um, <laughs> the rocky outcrop over there is pretty cool I'll give you that yeah, you don't want to be doing bike mechanics out here that's for sure